If you are like me that gets annoyed with epiphyllum leaves or stems that gets wrinkly or dehydrated after flowering, welcome to my world. This is Karina Van Elsen. Yes, we do hate them when they become wrinkled after massive flowers that we truly enjoyed for just few days. So what are we going to do about it? I think I found the culprit and how to fix it. So this is what I did. You see me here trimming those leaves that are dehydrated and wrinkled. Guess what I'm going to do with them? I'll show you in a bit. Let me just cut off some more of these problem stems. See how beautiful these flowers are? They are massive and oh yes, they are very fragrant. I never thought they could have a really strong fragrance. Especially at night, they smell like cherry lollies. I really wish they live longer in this vase that I placed them in. Now, going back to what to do with those wrinkled cuttings, I place them in the water. As you know, water is the best rooting hormone. And after 8 to 10 weeks, this is now the summer. Roots formed, as you see. And with a bit of luck, new plant has grown too. So, let us investigate why these leaves become wrinkled and almost dying. Some people say they are overwatered. I doubt that. As you can see, the soil is as hard as the concrete. Are we seeing the problem here? So here comes a jet flash of water to break the soil and loosen the roots. Then I place them back to the hanging basket with loose garden soil that's easy to drain. I don't really think you can kill this plant. They are hardy and very forgiving. And the rest of the cuttings in the water jug and will live there for a couple of months. We're well and truly back in the hanging basket and in its glorious place at my veranda. Need to give her some water though, clean her up a bit so she'll be as happy as can be like the rest of them. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and see you soon.